They are business leaders, experts in economy, society, and culture. In 15 minutes, their insights will create a vivid picture of Vietnam. Sharing Vietnam, the country as you see it. Hello everyone and welcome to Sharing Vietnam on Netflix VTC 10. As we know, although Vietnam has had economic relations with more than 140 countries and territories around the world, Taiwan has always been among our most important economic partners. Both sides have seen many achievements and improvements in two-way trade turnover up to now. To get to know more about Taiwan, its economic relation with Vietnam, our guest today, Taiwanese representative Mr. Huang Qingpen, will give us the detail. Mr. Huang Qingpen from Taiwan representative of Taipei Economic and Culture Office in Hanoi, one of the pioneers in strategic planning as well as practical experiences. Mr. Huang was formerly the Director General of the Bureau of Foreign Trade, Ministry of Economic Affairs in Taiwan, and has contributed relentlessly to Taiwan economic, trade and investment development. Mr. Huang Qingben, thank you so much for joining our Sharing Vietnam for today. It's thank my you. pleasure. Thank you. So how long have you been living in Vietnam? In early September 2010. Mm -hmm. And I uh, arrived in Hanoi on October 6, uh, the same year, 2010. So it's been one year, two months, and the three weeks now wow. already. Time really flies very yeah. fast. Do you think that it's kind of a long time for you to get to know more about Vietnam and Vietnamese people? I accepted my new assignment without any hesitation mm -hmm. because I just like, love Vietnam for many reasons. Uh, one of them was uh, during the year of 2003 and 2004 when, uh, when Vietnam is you know, making efforts in its uh, WTO accession negotiation. I happen to be the chief negotiator from Taiwan side. Mm -hmm. So I have already built up a lot of uh, friendship with uh, uh, many high ranking or medium ranking government officials from uh, Vietnam. We became friends already. Mm -hmm. And uh, during my time as the director general of uh, the Bureau of Foreign Trade, as well as the president CEO of Taichua, the Taiwan Trade External Trade Council, mm -hmm. I had uh, so many opportunities to deal with Vietnamese people, as well as to uh, uh, promote trade with the Vietnamese business community. So I have already got to know pretty well of Vietnam. So I accepted the job, the job mm -hmm. with Pleasant. As a representative of Taiwan to Vietnam, where are your commission and duties in Vietnam? I think all the ambassadors are alike, yep. or they are the same. I certainly uh, uh, not expecting my, se uh, my humble self with, uh, with that nature. Thank you, Mr. Huang Chinpen. And now, everyone, let's take a short break. Taiwan, located off the northeastern coast of Vietnam, is very developed on high technology manufacture as well as on other fields as culture and education. In recent years, Vietnam has had a good cooperation relation with Taiwan, and Taiwan is one of the partners that put the biggest FDI to Vietnam. The both sides tend to strengthen economic cooperation in the near future. Hello everyone and welcome back to Sharing Vietnam. We are talking to Mr. Huang Qingpeng, the representative of Taiwan to Vietnam. Mr. Huang, I know that Vietnam and Taiwan has a good cooperation in terms of education and technology. Can you just list some achievements that Taiwan has successfully gained in Vietnam? In fact, there are many more other 
areas that have pretty good relations in addition to education and uh, the one you just mentioned. First of all, I wish to point out that uh, there are a lot of cultural similarities between Vietnam and Taiwan. We share many things in common. And we both are sincere and peace-loving people surrounded by strong power. And now we both are struggling for our uh, enhancement of the economic development uh, in the very king uh, international com competition environment. There have been more than uh, 50 cooperation agreements and uh, minutes of uh, understandings covering uh, various sectors, including culture, economics, education, as well as in finance, science, and uh, criminal, criminal prevention. Mm -hmm. uh, which we both are benefited and which uh, have uh, in fact paved a very solid foundation for our uh, future further strengthening mm -hmm. of the bilateral relations. That is very impressive. The fact that Taiwanese investment in, in Vietnam has reached the amount of uh, uh, 20, uh, more than 23 billion US dollars is simply because that after consideration. Taiwanese people found that Vietnam is relatively a good destination to invest. Um, the overall investment environment, in fact, up until now, and now, and to uh, my understanding, my understanding in the future, uh, Vietnam will be still among one of the best for Taiwanese uh, pe people to invest. So I can foresee, uh, along with the continued growing up, growing up uh, of the uh, uh, Vietnamese economy in the future, there will be more and more uh, Taiwanese people to make their investment here. So as you know that the market for Vietnamese laborers mm -hmm. to work in Taiwan is also an interesting topic to talk about. So in the future, when Taiwan enterprises, we will plan to attract more Vietnamese Taiwan to work in Taiwan. Definitely. definitely. Taiwan is in the situation of uh, uh, shortage of labor supply. So our government has the policy to, uh, uh, to welcome foreign workers. Here Mr. Huang will take another break. And everyone, let's take a look at the, another cliff of our sharing Vietnam. For many years, Taiwan has always been among partners that attracts a large number of Vietnamese laborers to work abroad. The number of Vietnamese laborers in Taiwan increases steadily year by year. However, some problems such as brokerage fee is too high, meanwhile the salaries and benefits are too low, make Vietnamese laborers discouraged and afraid to cooperate. Hello everyone and welcome back to Starting Vietnam. We are talking to Mr. Huang Qingpeng, the representative of Taiwan to Vietnam. Mr. Huang, can you evaluate the situation of Vietnamese contract labor force in Taiwan at present? First of all, a point of correction. I just mentioned the percentage of the Vietnamese workers work in Taiwan uh, uh, counted 50% of the total foreign workers in Taiwan. In fact, the number should be uh, uh, totally 94,982 Vietnamese workers mm -hmm. work in Taiwan uh, by the end of uh, uh, November this year, accounted for 22.44% of the total foreign workers in Taiwan. So do you think it's kind of a great number? Certainly. Uh, in fact, Vietnam is the second largest source of the uh, foreign workers in yeah. Taiwan, uh, next to Indonesia. Um, uh, we uh, understand that Vietnamese employers tend to prefer higher Vietnamese workers because, as I said, they are most reliable. They are very polite, they are very diligent and very hardworking. Uh, so, uh, uh, one thing can uh, be one of the evidence to prove this, be uh, that uh, because the figures and the percentage of the Vietnamese workers in Taiwan increases year by year, steadily. For example, in uh, uh, 2007, 
there were only 69,000 uh, Vietnamese workers in Taiwan, accounted for 19.29% uh, uh, of the total uh, workers. Next year, in the year of uh, 2008, it increases to uh, 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 81,000. Uh, in 2009, the world suffered the global financial crisis, and everything just dropped. So uh, in that year, uh, next year, uh, follow year, uh, the worker, the number uh, reduced to seventy eight thousand. Mm -hmm. But one year after that, in two, uh, uh, the year two thousand, uh, it increased to eighty thousand more than the previous two years, accounted for twenty one point zero eight percent. And uh, 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 by the end of uh, by the end of November this year, it again increased drastically to 94,982, uh, 94, uh, accounted for totally 22, 44%. That means Vietnamese workers are welcome in general. And the number and the percentage are increasing in particular. And we can foresee and we can anticipate there will be more and more Vietnamese workers welcome yes in the okay. future so as you know that there are still some issue for contract working in Taiwan mm -hmm. and one of them are brokerage fees mm -hmm. is too high however the salary and benefits are low mm -hmm. so do you have any advice for the Vietnamese contract workers before going working in Taiwan the problem lies basically or well, mostly because of the broker brokerage fee is too high in Vietnam. Among four major sources of the uh, foreign workers work in Taiwan, Indonesia, Vietnam, Philippines, and Thailand. We have come up with a consensus and good agreement with all the other three countries to limit it, the brokerage fee charged from the sourcing country. But in fact, uh, we haven't uh, uh, concluded an agreement with Vietnam on that issue yet. Our law says that the brokerage fee in Taiwan charged by the brokers should be limited within one month of the wage. That means roughly 600 US dollars. Mm -hmm. But to the best of knowledge, some brokers even charge the brokerage fee to a single uh, venomous workers as high as to 10 times of the amount that we, al 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 we allow people to charge in Taiwan. That is $6,000. I think simply 6,000 US dollars brokerage is is too high. Yeah. A very, very heavy burden for a Workers. worker. Yeah. Yes. That causes many related issues. One of them being uh, the workers who try to escape from their workplaces to other possible opportunities to make more money to repay their heavy burden. So uh, this is one thing I would like special mention uh, for the uh, problems, I mean the issues still prevail between the two countries in terms of uh, the increase of uh, the uh, workers in Taiwan in the future. The Dearest Taiwan authorities has efficient policies to ensure the right for Vietnamese workers when they decide to work in Taiwan. Definitely, by law and practice, all foreign workers, of course, including Vietnamese workers, are entitled to enjoy national treatment. Any legal rights, including minimum wage, any health care, any legal uh, uh, rights are applied to Vietnamese workers. Yes. And in addition to that, we even make a special additional efforts to help our 
good friends, Vietnamese workers, uh, uh, work there. Before they go, go we have uh, uh, classes telling them how to get used to Taiwanese uh, customs daily lives. And we have set up an emergency help uh, 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 lines to uh, provide assistance to whatever needed they may have. So those kind of things would uh, better, very helpful to ensure their good life there. Thank you very much, Mr. Wang Jingpeng, for joining our Sharing Vietnam for today. Thank and you. It is my pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. And that also concludes our Sharing Vietnam for today on NetVietVTC10. I'm Wang Yen. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.